Welcome back. Now, new research by the education NGO Africa Education Watch has revealed as many as 21% of primary school pupils in Ghana's deprived communities could not make it to junior high schools in the 2018-2019 academic year. The report attributes this to the lack of junior high schools in many basic uh, schools, forcing students to walk long distances to access JHS, uh, to pay for private JHS where available, or to simply drop out. Joining us for more on this uh, is Executive Director for Africa Education Watch, Kofi Asari. Uh, they are the ones who carried out the study. Uh, Mr. Asari, thank you very much for your time with us. Uh, uh, tell us, first of all, beyond the official documents that you relied on, were you also on the ground to see for yourselves some of the problems that are uh, mitigating against basic education? Right. Um, good afternoon, um, Kujo, and good afternoon to your cherished audience. Um, yes, we conducted a research uh, reviewing government's own reports and uh, undertaking field surveys in two deprived districts, in Zabzugu in the northern region and in Nkwanta South in the Utsi region. And um, in Zabzugu, for instance, Zabzugu has 55 junior high schools, 55 primary schools, and only 17 junior high schools. The meaning is that 70% of primary schools in Zabzugu do not have junior high schools, 70%. And in majority of this, just in this of majority of these primary schools, after completing primary six, students have to either commute average 10 kilometers a day to and from the next community where there might be a junior high school, or they drop out. Hmm. And even that, for students to get admission to another public junior high school in that 10 kilometer distance um, community they buy forms, five cities. They buy forms of five cities and then apply for admission. Depending on the availability of admission spaces, they are able to then secure admission and commute for long distances to be able to assess junior high school. Hmm. So did it appear that government is aware of this problem? I mean, 70% of primary schools in Zabzugu not having uh, uh, junior high schools, is that something that at least local government is aware of and dealing with? Yes, um, this is something government ought to be aware because the data was captured in government's own MS data. Right. Owned by the Ministry of Education, not our data. So uh, that is something government ought to be aware. I agree that the sector is wide um, and there are various you know, um, um, subsectors and various dimensions of issues. Our focus is on ensuring that there is equitable access to quality basic education, especially for children attending schools in rural areas, in urban slums, and in inner cities. So as CSOs, our obligation is to do further research on what is available as raw data um, or semi-processed data and zoom in into the areas where there's evidence of exclusion and draw government's attention to the fact that at present, apart from the fact that 4,000 primary schools nationwide do not have junior high schools, and I'm talking about 25% of mm. public primary schools, in some districts like Zabzugu, Sene East, in, in Kwanta, so most of these districts, up to 70% of primary schools do not have junior high schools. Hmm. And in this district, more than 20% of students are dropping out between primary six and junior high school. One. Not, not between kindergarten one, when they enrolled in basic education, and junior high school three, when they are completing. No, just between primary six and junior high school one, we are losing more than 20% in this deprived district. Hmm. Therefore, the need for government to have an intervention to ensure that there is parity in the number of primary schools and public junior high schools. Right. Now, uh, you're, you're an education NGO, so a think tank. What's your advice? What's the solution to this? What should, be, what should government do to, to fix this problem? Um, two days ago, I led, I led a team to meet with the Ministry of Education. We met with the, the Deputy Minister of Education, and we submitted um, a 10-point recommendation 
Um, among others, we are asking the government to, we ask the government to relax the GET funds cap. Currently, the GET fund is capped at 25%. It limits funding availability to the Ministry of Education to construct more schools. If you look at 2019, 2020, for instance, the Ministry of Education or Government of Ghana was only able to construct 100 primary schools in all 261 districts. You know, and so it is as a result of the capping of the GET fund. If GET fund wasn't capped at 25% and it was even capped at 50%, extra resources could have been freed to support the development of basic education infrastructure. So our first recommendation was to the was to, was to Parliament first and then the Ministry of Finance to amend the capping of the GET fund and relax it so that the difference will now be committed to developing education infrastructure, especially junior high schools in rural districts. We have also recommended to government to begin adapting a system where we don't build any school without a full component of primary, junior high, and KG, which is the basic school concept. Because we are having this problem because in the times past, I mean in times past, some governments built primary schools without building junior high schools. Mm. And so it beats my imagination why you would, you would build a primary school and expect that when they complete, they don't continue. A Ghana government has a consistent obligation to ensure that every child of school going age enrolls and completes the full course of basic education. That is Article 38.2 of the Constitution. Mm. It is the primary education. And so we have advised the Ministry of Education that moving forward, we shouldn't build KGs alone or primary alone. But every school should have the full component of a KG, primary and junior high school, so that we don't we don't we don't repeat this um, this this mistake in the future. Apart from that, we we believe that we need a fund to specifically target the development of junior high schools. If the GET fund is not uncapped, we need a fund comprising the um, you know contribution from private sector government and, and all individuals. And I think the Ministry of Education is my position to mobilize the stakeholders, set up a, a, a fund, and then get the private sector to lead in managing the fund. If we are able to get influential Ghanaians to speak for the construction of junior high schools in the next four years, the way many have spoken for the National Cathedral, the way many have spoken for other projects of national importance, I think that Ghanaians will be ready to support a fund which will target the construction of 4,000 year high schools in areas of this country where parents wake up at dawn to go and weed, farm, till the soil and feed all of us in the urban areas so that their children can also have access to quality education, mm. exactly similar to what we are enjoying in urban Ghana. All right, well, uh, let's uh, hope that the government takes your um, recommendations and we're able to do something about this. 25% is a huge, huge number. Uh, thank you very much for your time with us. All right.